All right, first off, I want you to summarise roll hockey in five words. Exciting. Exciting. Five words. Yep. Exciting. 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 Fast. Fun. It's fun. Fast. Fast. Fast, aggressive. Strength. Thrilling. Uh, team building. Team. If you have three kids doing it, it's expensive. <laughs> <laughs> Roller hockey. It is played around the globe by lots of different people, but it is a very overlooked sport as people see it as ice hockey's baby brother. I'm going to be investigating why roller hockey is such an underrated sport and we'll be looking at the benefits and issues and how together we can avoid the major obstacles that lie in the way of roller hockey becoming a truly accepted sport. But, I'm all right. but what are the benefits of playing roller hockey? Fitness wise, skating is second to swimming. So while you're skating, you're going to get healthier and fitter. I think it's a great way to keep fit. I think it teaches children teamwork. It's fast, so kids enjoy it. It's a great game to watch. I think team building is the key one, for um, especially for youngsters. Going through life, learning how to be part of a team and not be an individual. The kids get socialisation also. They meet new kids that come in, play with kids that aren't at the school and not at the discos. Obviously you can meet lots of new people from different clubs and stuff like that. Pick it up quite quick, get you active. Can roll hockey be a great way of keeping fit? Yes, you pretty much use every muscle going as far as I understand. I've never done it myself, but <laughs> the uh, yeah, from what everybody's saying, Roll around ice is the uh, way forward. I think it is. I think it's a great way to keep fit. I think skating uses so many muscles to skate, muscles that you wouldn't normally use in everyday life. Definitely. Um, I, the kids don't really think about it as that. They just think it's fun and they don't realise how much exercise they're getting. Shut up, hush your mouth, can't you hear you talk too loud? What skills has roller hockey given you which has impacted you outside of the sport? Controlled aggression, I would have thought, would be the big one. Is being able to play physical and hard, yet not let your emotions override. Teamwork, like obviously because you're in a team, it's easier to, like, when you go for a job interview or something like that, and they put you in a team in a situation, it's easy just to be able to take control or somebody else take control and you be able to listen to what they're saying. It builds their self-esteem too, like when, they, when they're when they winning the games and, and succeeding, it's, that's a good feeling <laughs> for the parents and the kids. There are currently around eight rinks in the UK and most of them cannot afford the investment of roller hockey. How is this affecting the sport? Greatly, because a lot of people are trying to do it out of sports halls. Sports halls are dangerous. You've got corners, you've got concrete walls. It needs government money putting into it. I think it's greatly affecting the sport. People end up playing in sports halls, which isn't really as good as playing in a proper rink with the boards and the sides. Should roller hockey be taught in schools? Yeah, to, a, to an extent it should be because there's quite a lot of places where they could play it. Not just You don't just have to go to a rink and stuff like that. Like It can be taught just on, on feet and stuff like that to get the technique and then obviously if they want to take it up they can follow it up to a rink and stuff like that. Yes, I do. I think it's uh, it's a great way of keeping fit and it gives an alternative to the main ones in this country are rugby, football and cricket and swimming. Um, anything that with these minority sports steps in and does I think is a good thing because there are a lot of people who get left behind who don't want to play rugby, football. Uh does roller hockey have a future as a world sport? I hope, under one banner, I hope, to the Olympics. Uh, there's been talk of it all round. I'm just hoping that the right people are in the right place now and we push it forward and go to the Olympics. That's where the ultimate goal is. Well, I think everybody who's involved in roller hockey is working really hard to expand the sport and for it to have a great future. I think it's 
I think all the signs are very, very positive. There's new rinks going up. There's new people involved. It'd be nice if it was as big as ice hockey. I think it's growing in popularity. And, you know, this, as much as the discos are growing um, just in the last few years, I think hockey's just going to keep getting bigger and bigger. Yeah, that'd be great. Although roller hockey is still in its infancy as a world sport, it is clear to see the people involved are obviously very optimistic about its future. Maybe one day there'll be a British team representing us at the Olympics, but until then, roller hockey still remains an undiscovered sport whose players enjoy every minute of this thrilling game.